But what up, folks? I am UltraZilla, and today I have a review of the Hiya Toys Exquisite Mini Robocop 3 Robocop vs. Otomo. That's alright, my zillions. I got myself a Robocop thanks to Hiya Toys. I sent this over for review amongst a few other things, awesome things. You can check out my unboxing for all of that. Um, this is really, really awesome. Uh, if you didn't see the unboxing, I did mention this. But my the original reason I got in touch with Hiya Toys all those years back was I wanted to review some Robocops. Uh, but at the time, they didn't have any available for review. And it's taken all this time for one to be reviewable. So here we are, full circle here. Finally doing a Robocop. I'm really excited. I have reviewed a couple Robocop items. Few, uh, with like two ED-209s and a uh, cane. So, uh, but we never did a Robocop itself. And uh, this is really exciting for me. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. But before we get to the figures themselves, the outer box, you know, housed a nice little blister card, uh, which is cool. You got the RoboCop here, the RoboCop on the card, and then you can see the figures better on the back. You got some shots here of uh, the RoboCop and Otomo figures, which is very, very cool. Tells you a little bit about the exquisite mini line. And there you have it. So let's get these guys out, shall we? And here's Robocop and Otomo out of the package. But before we get to them, uh, let's look at the accessories. We have two stands uh, with a couple, uh, four H clips, pair for each. Stands look pretty good. I'm not even going to take them out of here because I'm not going to use them. Um, but they're nice, you know? They make nice stands at higher. For Otomo, uh, we uh, get a pair of hands. Looks all right, you know, pretty basic. But they're okay. And we get his sword, which does look really nice. The blade is awesome. Nice gunmetal there. The hilt is really nice too. Has gold on it, which is cool. Look at the silver and gold next to each other. Um, very, very nice. And as you can see, he's got a little scabbard here. So you could put the sword in. And that looks pretty good. So that is cool. Robocop comes with some extra hands. We have an outstretched hand and we have a gun holding hand. They're done in glossy black. For that gun holding hand, of course, we have Robocop's gun. It looks amazing. I mean, it's just done in black, but <laughs> it looks good enough. It looks the part, so that's pretty cool. His Robocop 3 gun. In the box, one of his hands has the, uh, I don't know what they call this, um, but it's some sort of blade that comes out of here his wolverine blade so you know you'd have to take that out to put the gun holding hand in Oop, with said gun and now you got classic robocop look there but the other arm has uh this amazing weapon machine gun hand so you know that is, you know, the RoboCop 3-ness of it. It looks pretty good. It's just done in black. But the sculpt is fine. So, you know, it's not really an accessory per se. But I figured I'd show it as a, an accessory. And let's keep going on RoboCop. He's got nice silver arm. Nicely detailed. With like a purple hue, which is cool. I do dig that. The back looks really nice too. Again, that purple hue on there. It's pretty cool. That's pretty RoboCop 3-esque, I would say. This arm looks good, too. Very nice sculpt. Love the, uh, the sculpt work in the joint. That looks pretty nice. Chest is really well done. Like, more scuffing on this side. Not bad. The head sculpt. He's got that trademark, very pink lips. I like that. Looks pretty good. The eyes look pretty good. The eyes. The visor looks pretty good. The helmet in itself looks good. You got that purple hue again back there, which is nice. I really like it. It um, it just gives like off like a nice shine to it, which looks cool. The black parts here look really nice. Nicely sculpted there. 
The legs look really good. Again, in silver with that hue on there. Hue. It's all about the hue. <laughs> in this, the hue in the review. Oh, God. Um, dad joke is over. You have some blue, actually, in the knees. That's interesting. Is that? Oh, where'd he go? There it is. I love this stuff here. This cool engineering. Black back there. Legs look really good. Really nicely sculpted. Really like them a lot. Feet look great. Man, I really like these pistons. They're very cool. I guess I would say be careful with them. Um, because they could break. But they look really awesome. The legs are great, man. Beautiful stuff. That's what the back there looks like. His butt and stuff. Nice and glossy. Proportions are pretty good. He seems like he would be a little bit small. Ultima looks huge. Uh, and he looks a little bit compact. Um, and you'll see in my size comparisons, like with some of the other higher stuff. I feel like this Robocop might be a little bit undersized. But, you know, onto itself, it looks pretty decent. So, I'm happy with it. You know, I think it looks cool. Um, you know, is it my be-all, end-all Robocop? No, you know, uh, I'm still looking for that Robocop, I'd say. But it's good to have a Robocop in the collection finally i've wanted that for quite a while and you know i've definitely obviously wanted a higher one to go with the ed209 and Kane figures which i really like so this is very very welcome and articulation on this robocop head moves on the ball joint so does the neck hinge swivel at the shoulders you can't really go outwards on there uh then you have a double jointed elbow the wrists move around on ball joints you have the waist joint, which moves really, really good. And an ab crunch, which is nice. So that's really cool. The mouth fell in the background there. Then the legs move up and down like that. Swivel around. Is there a drop down joint now on this guy? There is not, but I think there is on Ultimo. And then you have the swivel in here. You have a single jointed knee. There goes his gun. Then the foot moves. Again, do be careful about rocking and stuff. Because this is hinged here, and this is very skinny, small plastic. So do be careful with that piston. Uh, but yeah, all in all, he's got he's got the moves like I was gonna say Jagger, but I guess more like Robocop. And as for Otomo, first let's do the articulation on this guy. Head is on a ball joint. I don't think there's a separate neck joint on this one. Uh, for the body, you have upper body and waist. Hinge swivel at the shoulders. Well, works okay. The elbow has a single joint. Wrist swivel. This guy does have a drop down joint, as I said. Splits. Goes forward, goes back. A little rotation in there. The knee. Single joint. And then rocker at the foot. Can go forward and back. Turns around a little bit. Uh, and that's about it. You know, that's it for Otomo. It's fine. But taking a look at this guy in full, let's start out with that head sculpt. He looks crazy. Uh, pretty good. Oh my. Look at his crazed face. Bloodstained face. All scarred up. Maniacal laugh. The eyes look just insane. His hair slicked back. Look at this guy. <laughs> that is a face. There's no doubt about it, man. That looks crazy. His outfit looks really good. I love, love the work in this. A lot of great folds and wrinkles. A lot of nice texture to it. Very, very nicely done. A kind of ninja-esque outfit. Looks just awesome. Love the gloss here. The gloss straps on his arm. Man, I love these sleeves. They look fantastic. Really, really cool. That's what the inner body looks like. I do see some white paint there or something that Aaron paint maybe from when they painted the teeth. But the legs look pretty good. The straps again, nice and glossy on the legs. The belt buckles, well not belt, but you know, the buckles there look really good. Feet look nicely done. Yeah, I like it. The back is really good. Very cool figure as well. I do like it. Um, it looks really, really nice. Now, again, you know, he looks bigger than RoboCop in a way. Um, so that's a little bit odd. But otherwise, 
this is a really, really nice figure, too. And for your size comparisons, here's Robocop and Otomo with a bunch of other Hyatt Toys figures you might have in your collection across all kinds of lines. But, you know, especially we got, uh, got a couple of Robocop figures with ED-209 and Kane that we have reviewed already. Finally, I mean, I, I can't stress this enough. It's really good to have a Robocop. <laughs> And my final thoughts, this is a fun little set. It's very cool. I love Otomo, he looks crazy. It's just a cool uh, figure. Love his sword. Love the texture on his outfit. His face just looks bananas. Uh, just a fun figure. Robocop is really nice, you know. It's Robocop 3, so he's got that crazy gun on one arm, gun arm, but it's cool enough. It fills my need for now of a Robocop in the collection. Uh, and that is very, very good. Finally happy to review a Haya Robocop. Like I said, that's the first thing I ever contact that, contacted them for. So glad to finally do one. And there you go, guys. This is a cool set. Really dig it. And if you could like, comment, subscribe, and share, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you to Haya for sending these over and the rest of the figures. Till next time, peace out, peeps.